Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 525. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week, finally. So first up is My Little Pony get sorry, uh, <laughs> uh, MTG Arena gets Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Applejack update. If you miss it last month, Magic the Gathering finally completed the My Little Pony charity card set after a three years hiatus. I, that is Sophisto, did a little deck premiere for a funny way to pull off the every pony win combo. As of today, you can finally pick this up as well as sleeves and more over on MTG Arena. The in-game skin follows the actual card in donating to charity. And they are a sorry, and they are currently running a an extra life twenty twenty three treasure brawl event to kick it off. So this is this this news came in a bit. Sorry, I came in a bit late in reporting the news, so probably they're finished already. Yep, October thirtieth. This is what while while now. So yeah. So uh, this is kind of cool. Um, but the thing is um. The pony, uh, what you call this charity event thing has finished. Um, you you can't get it anymore, and the only way to get it is from third party, for, from resellers, third parties and whatnot. So yeah, um, but it it was a while back I reported on it, and if you guys, huh, probably check it out on the third market. Like, um, they shouldn't be that insane, but it depends, man. Like. If 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 you really wanted to get it, you should have gotten it in the first place. It's one of those things, man. And if you didn't have money at the time, uh, man, I I mm. if if you didn't have money at the time, like how I was, um, the thing is they don't charge you on the day that you purchase it, except if you kind of um paid for it in advance. Uh, mine was pre-ordered, and they'll only charge me when they wanted to when, when the product's ready. So yay! Uh, I was kind of in a bind at the time. Uh, this is same. Di- how to put this? Um, different scenario altogether. But the <clears throat> the way I wanted to do it was, I wanted to go through a forwarding company in the U.S. Um, and the forwarding company was a quote-unquote government-sanctioned thing, a uh, Malaysian government, by the way, semi-government thing. Um, it's how do I put this? It was the Malaysia Malaysian Postal Service. So they opened up a forwarding company in the U.S., and that's how people usually tend to ship their stuff. There's multiple forwarding companies, but yes, um. That's what I was using at the time, but I got an email from them saying that our business was about to close November something. So if you done anything, cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. And I was in a scenario, I, or I was in a bind where I couldn't. Sorry, um, what's the what's his website was, uh pain to deal with. I try to do uh, I try to do things and changing the address was hard and ended up cancelling the order and reordering it again. So <clears throat> all in all it was a hassle and a pain. So my tip to you for future reference, if you have something that you want to ship from the States to um, Malaysia or something like that, is to find a friend. Um, find a friend that can ship you this stuff. I'm not saying that you sh- um, ask them to ship it for free, but uh, just have a friend that is willing to do the extra legwork to send it to you. And you'll pay them, obviously. So, um, that's... Extra life in this one, haha. <laughs> Moving on to the next news. Renegade Games reveal dark skies over Equestria. 
changeling page. <clears throat> Renegade Games dropped a bunch of details last week about their new adventure, Dark Skies Over Equestria. Be sure to check up on that if you missed it. Uh, today, they have revealed the changeling page, going into details on everyone's favorite uh, insectoid shape. Shape, uh, shape, shape, shifty race. <coughs> so I haven't read this yet, but let's get into it. Oh no, the page is small. I I can zoom in. Yeah, I, I can zoom in ten times. All right, then. So, uh, what are changelings? Sorry, what are the changelings? In their true form, changelings look like oddly, completely ebony ponies. With several large holes over their legs and wings, they their eyes are solid colored orbs and their teeth are vicious fangs. When they fly in when they fly, all in all, they are rather scary to run into, especially as their social skills are very well developed. Most simply hiss and snarl at any non changeling they meet. The reason for this lack of social grace is that changelings feed on love and friendship. They don't truly understand the concept in the same way ponies do, considering such warm feelings to be food rather than something to uh, uh, to aspire to. Okay, I'm just going to stop it there. So, uh, they break down the what are they, how they live, and just basically the general um, inside and out of a changeling. This is pretty cool because uh, you, you can use this as lore for your own storytelling if you write fight fix, or you could use this to well, build your own D&D character or a renegade game pony character thingy. All right, okay, so let's see. Uh, noteworthy changeling episode. This is fun, this is fun. The following episodes are well worth another watch to remind you all about the Changeling and their histories. The Changeling and Queen Chrysalis appeared in other episodes, but these are the most important stories. So what this is telling me as a player or a GM, a game master, is that um, watch this episode to figure out how you want your changing characters to be and how you want to create the world personality and so on. So, A Candlelight Wedding, episode 25 and 26, uh, season 2. Uh, this is the episode where we first see, where we first saw the changeling and they attacked Hentalot. A lot of things that we can take out of it is that, okay, their combat prowess is mostly, um, magic transformation and all that stuff and they attack in a group all right cool uh, i wonder if they have pack tactics or not but that's a different story so season six the times they are a changeling um if i'm not mistaken the time they are a changeling is the episode where spike befriends uh oh man i forgot his name the changeling the good guy. I forgot his name. Mm. Me no remember. So anyway, um, that tells us that, okay, changeling can be friendly and change their personality when uh, when they need to. So when you create a changeling character, you don't have to be a jerk. Okay, cool. And then uh, season six is uh, where and back again. This is the episode where group B kind of saves the uh, main party from the uh, from the Changeling Queen's attack. Uh, this was Discord, Trixie, Starlight, and Discord, and the name was popping in my head for a second. I forgot. It's... I forgot, never mind. Okay, uh, to change a Changeling, Change or changing? I, is this the episode where? Oh man, I forgot. But 
As I say, several episodes in Season 8 also feature Ocellus. Ah, yes. Uh, a metaphor, uh, a metamorphosis change links to the uh, Twilights. Okay, so this, this is one of those cases where, okay, uh, this is our reference, go have fun. Okay, so now, change the comic up here. Oh, wow, there, there is a lot of things they're covering. So, yeah, I'm not gonna even touch on that one because, yeah, it shows me what I know. I'm still up on the name. I'm, it, it, it's on the tip of my brain, but I don't remember it. So, <clears throat> this is pretty awesome because it shows that the creators are really into the universe and really understands how they want to like like this is great this is really awesome uh okay uh if i'm not mistaken there's another one in the news which is a follow okay really good games reveal another dark side over equestria page preview uh, another page blah 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 this one is the changeling characters okay let's let's go in and read this because this is fun okay dark sides of equestria changeling characters in your uh, <clears throat> If your game master allows, you may choose to play a changeling instead of a pony as your character. This is going to be fun. In this session, we detail a uh, new origins on, and how their powers of shapeshifting work. We didn't read that part yet, but I guess we have to buy the book. When creating a changeling character, you follow the simple steps as a pony character, simply using the changeling origin instead of a pony one. There are also new influence options for changelings, although they get the same amount of ponies do. Changeling characters of either type do not get cutie marks. So I'm just gonna check it out. Blah blah blah. Roll. Okay. Uh, change. Blah, 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 the transformation event. <clears throat> uh, the act of transform transformation grants the revelation, so all metamorphosis changeling can. Pick a role freely. However, a colony changeling cannot pass level 10 in their role without transforming. The higher the level of the element of harmony are only available to those who have fully dedicated themselves to giving love. Having said that, most colony changelings have begun to learn about the power of friendship and taken on the role with uh, role with metamorphosis. Taking on a role will metamorphosis, metamorphosis such early uh, than level 10. Okay, most changeling who understands. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, changeling. Uh, while changeling naturally look like, un um, mm, while changeling naturally look unlike anything else in Equestria, every pony knows they possess the ability to shapeshift into other characters or creatures. In their natural shape, changing look like an alicorn crossed with an insect. They have fangs as long as the horn on their heads, uh, frayed, frayed wings that hum when they fly, and hollow, hollow poked haunches and legs. But at will, they can. <clears throat> they can change their bodies to match Earth ponies, Pegasi, Unicorn, and more. Most changelings have limited shape-shifting magic that let them mor morph their colors and features, but they usually keep basic shapes. Their horn gives them in just enough magic to pass. All right. Um, not that big of a deal, but from what I understand here, it just tells us that okay, um. There's two types of changelings. Uh, one changeling that is uh, that under that I, I think that already changed, and the other one is uh, that are a colony. So colony changelings cannot pass level ten in their role without transforming. So it tells me that um, you can <clears throat> ascend or pick a type or something like that. Alright, alright. So all in all, this is way interesting and the, the the character building step is take the basic pony 
as a reference. Use that, but just use the changeling origins thing. So this is fascinating in, uh, this is fascinating when you build your character because you could go quote unquote double agent where you start off as a basic earth pony who lives in Ponyville, but it's actually a changeling and they plan to infiltrate stuff and whatnot. But because of the love that they accumulated, they decide to change into the colorful changelings. They're nice ones. <clears throat> so that could be an option there. But <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. Because I'm very limited with the... Um, what you call this? Uh, I'm very limited with the uh, content I have. So yeah, this is, this is really cool. And makes me want to join a campaign with this game specifically. Too bad none of my friends want to play this. Oh well, moving on to the next news. <clears throat> Symbiote Starlight Glimmer Plush Complete coming in December. Yay. Uh, gleamy Glam. <laughs> gleamy Glam. Uh, gleamy Glammy is next up on the Symbiote Studio Plush line. We saw them reveal her as a prototype way back in June and we'll finally have access to her come December and ready to pair her with your Trixie. Accept an update once orders are open. Yay! Um, I, I remember talking about this a while back ago saying that uh, besides 4DE who has stopped production on their pony line, I think, don't quote me on that, uh, the, the others to pick it up is Symbiote Studios, and their lineup is not bad. They they look good, uh, and for the price, if I'm not mistaken, it was about um true true um what was it again? Like oh no, I'm I'm bombarded with messages. Give me a second, folks. Let me let me close that a bit. Oh no, where's this? Yes, uh, I'll, I'll mute you for a bit, Tab. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright, anyway, um, Symbia Studios plus look good. Yay. Uh, and they're quite affordable. If I'm not mistaken, it's under $30, give or take. And this, yeah, um, they're, they're, and they have a lot. If I'm not mistaken, they did the Full Moon 6. They also did a bunch. I'm not 100% sure if they did muffins. Um, but, I know that they did Trixie and they also did Starlight. So yeah, this is fun. This is a fun um, collection to get. So yay. <clears throat> so anywho, let's wrap things up. So anyway, um, next topic is what have I been doing my week. And well, my week has been pretty okay. Been busy with work and whatnot. And just trying to get the whole thing set up properly the cost um the audio for the video kind of bugs me and the program that i'm using needs to use this microphone specifically uh, there, there's a lot of hoo ha brouhaha and a lot of things in the middle so i'm making things work as it is now just doing stuff and i hope it works and also what else um yeah, uh, didn't really do much. So, yeah. Uh, n nothing new in terms of gaming and whatnot, but eh, we'll see. Stuff, I, I guess. Uh, probably I'll upload, I I'll do something for the Patreons, just for funsies. Mm. But anyway, let's wrap things up, let's wrap things up. So, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, uh, oh, mm, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. Um, you can also catch. You can also catch us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And yeah, everything's in the show notes below. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com/slash MBS Show. 
with every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, uh, Lucky Knight, and also myself. Like, thank you so much, guys. You have been awesome to me, and I'm very thankful. Thank you so much, guys. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya.